The new jump list which were introduced with Windows 7 help you improving your productivity. They let you see your recently used files or let you change your status in MSN. In fact, they are so awesome, you can even pin files on them. However, this is limited to files. Applications and folders can't be pinned. That's why I created the jump list launcher. It lets you create custom jump lists or task lists which give quick access to up to 60 files, folders or shortcuts. All entries can be put in custom groups. I will show you an example. Let's create a group containing the most important office applications. Rename it. Files can be added via a classic file browser but I personally prefer just drag and dropping them on the jumpless launcher window from explorer. Rename them for a better look and let's add the office folder itself to our group. You can change name, path and icon on the left side too. Click save changes to entry when you're done. List items and groups can be moved with the big buttons on the right side. You can also move them via drag and drop. After you're done, click on create jump list. This will also save all changes you have done to your list. There is our jump list including the office group we just created. You can increase or decrease the number of possible jump list items with this setting. Let's try fewer entries. See, some entries are missing. Sadly it's only possible to change this number for all applications on the system at once. Finally, I want to show you how to add entries to the Jumpless Launcher without actually opening it. Therefore, you drag a single file or folder from the Explorer on the Jumpless Launcher icon and drop it while holding the Shift key. Now this file is at the end of the Jumpless. Here's the proof that opening items works. I hope you enjoyed this video.